It's always worth getting up at stupid o'clock in the dark, trudging out into these uh, wild places. It's always worth it. We got a really hard frost last night as well, minus seven, minus eight in the van. <laughs> Everything froze. One of my best days of photography, uh, maybe ever. So a really, really special day out here. Well, good morning and welcome to I'm going to be spending the next 72 hours out here. And uh, yeah, it's all about the landscape photography. We've got beautiful still winter conditions. There's gonna be some more snow passing through hopefully. Um, and it's projected to get down to minus three, minus four. So hopefully a bit of ice as well. But for now, uh, I am down near the river and I'm exploring some of these beautiful old pine trees. I have been down here once before and there's a particular grouping which I'm reshooting now because I wasn't happy with what I got the first time. So uh, I'm gonna explore a few different compositions here. Just starting to get daybreak, a touch, a little touch of color in the sky. Uh, hopefully uh, we get a bit more of that, that lovely pink glow with the uh, the snow on the mountains. It's going to look really nice. I love that color combination. This shot's really all about those uh, characterful Scots pine, the beautiful mountains, and uh, trying to tell a little bit of the story of this glen and how this is what Scotland was supposed to look like. Anyway, I'm going to focus on some photography again and uh, I'll check in in a little bit. Beautiful morning. Peaceful, calm, still. <laughs> Just a joy to be out. So I'm going for a nice little square crop here. Um, this left-hand tree is the only real compositional issue. It's just trying to reach into frame. Um, so I'm having to work going backwards and forwards using a, a longer and shorter focal length, trying to find that sweet spot um, where the mountain is as big as I can get it in the frame, but that tree isn't uh, creeping in. So it's always a compromise with uh, composition. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's just a case of um, sitting around, seeing what happens with the light. Just uh, rushed quickly and changed to a portrait orientation because uh, the moon's coming into play now and it's setting right into my composition which is couldn't have planned it any better. <laughs> I mean I didn't plan it that's the funny part uh, but yeah it's there's a nice little gap in my composition on the uh, right hand side uh, with the mountain peeking through it and so I'm just waiting. The moon's slowly moving into that channel um, and I think that's going to balance the frame out quite nicely uh, but yeah as I said moved into a, a portrait from a square and uh, trying to work in the moon into this composition just adds that extra little uh, pop of something to give it you know a little bit of something special here comes the moon well definitely getting the light now beautiful pinky glow some clouds actually behind the mountain that are catching light uh, as well as a little bit of glow on the peak itself uh, and it's giving it just some nice pop and contrast uh, as well as that color of course um, really makes the peak stand out but yeah incredible incredible morning great reminder that it's always worth getting up at stupid o'clock in the dark getting out there just seeing what happens
So oh, it's always worth it. got a lovely grouping of birch trees and we had a really hard frost overnight so the grasses are beautiful and white and they're frosted and those gnarly birch trees set against the white uh, grasses making for some lovely contrast. Got a bit of moonlight coming in from the side so that's always helpful it's sort of acting as a little bit of a, um, a backfill in this case. Still well before dawn as you can probably tell, although I don't think I need this anymore. And uh, there are little patches of fog rolling through, so I think my plan is just going to be to sit on this composition. I'm really happy with it. And yeah, see if any of those fog patches roll through this particular section, because um, it's quite patchy. But yeah, it's a wonderful cold morning. I'm going to do some fine tweaks and uh, then I'll, I'll show you the image. Probably going to be quite hard to make out on uh, the wide-angle camera, but we do have a bit of fog filtering through. But at the moment, it's sort of constrained to just skirting uh, at the top of that ridge there. Um, although there's a nice sort of thick band of it coming uh, my way, so <laughs> this could happen. Well, th that being said, I am perfectly happy without the fog. Um, yeah, sort of a, a high key look, I think, low contrast. Really pop those whites. Um, but if, if fog happens, then, you know, all the better for it. <laughs> Eight seconds, F11, ISO 100. Easy as that. There's a, a really big granny pine that's fallen over about 50 meters uh, further up that way and it's got lots of dead branches sort of like arching over uh, so I might go and try and make an image of that next.
Well, isn't that, isn't that pretty cool there? Um, shame to see, obviously. Um, but there's actually a few more dead trees right in this area as well, so I'm not sure what's going on right here, but yeah, it's uh, difficult to put a composition on, shall we say. So I think I'm going to move on because the conditions this morning are really nice um, and I might try and go for a bit more of a walk up in the hills, see if I can get in and amongst some of the fog. But been a great morning so far, so uh, yeah, let's uh, head off and uh, see what else we can find today. have moved in so I'm sort of second-guessing myself that nice light that was happening backlighting some of this frost has uh, been snuffed out but I think there's a, a path that I haven't been down just up here so I think I'm gonna go down that way just go for a bit of an explore um, I'm not too bothered about finding another image this morning one is a uh, you can get one image in a day, and that's a pretty good day in my books. Well, on the uh, map, it looked like this went sort of right next to the river, and it's actually quite a bit away from the river, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, all the birch trees at the moment, right next to the river, are completely white with frost, and I think it's something to do with that evaporation off of that moving water and then it freezes um, around the, the birch trees. So I'm going to head back and then I'm going to go down to the river again where I was yesterday morning. Um, but of course completely different conditions and see if I can find some nice birch trees. Um, and yeah, I mean, there are still small patches of blue sky as well so you could always get that backlighting uh, that I was sort of visualizing but yeah for now this uh, this path's a bit of a bust and we'll uh, go see down by that river again if um, any of those birch are worthwhile photographing Well, good morning everyone. It's the, uh, the third morning now and we got a really hard frost last night. It was about minus seven, minus eight in the van. <laughs> Everything froze. But wow, what a landscape we're left with. Birch, even the pine are looking absolutely phenomenal. Just encrusted in this hoarfrost from uh, the fog overnight. Still getting a bit of that fog now and yeah, just trying to make the most of these conditions. Um, doing quite a few sort of minimal square crops, zooming in all the way to 105 mil even. Um, just picking out single trees off on the distant bank or little details of, uh, of ice crystals on some of the branches. But, wow. 
I am here with my mate. He doesn't want to be on video though, so I'll be uh, cutting around him. Uh, but yeah, great morning to be out. And wow, what conditions. Gonna maybe try and get a bit of elevation now and um, see what happens when the light breaks the ridge at about 9.30, which not too far off now. Still an hour, still an hour to go, so. Yeah, it's a good thing about getting up really early and getting out plenty of time down in these wintry Scottish glens. Well, how about this scene? Sun's risen, but it's not uh, over the peaks to the south yet. It is hitting all these uh, mountains behind us. That's bouncing a little bit of warm light into the scene, but I mean, just, <laughs> just wow. Doing uh, some variations on compositions here with uh, slightly wider, trying to include this foreground tree on the right and then leading off to those trees on the left there. And yeah, I might just wait here for uh, the light to hit these trees. It's, it's really not far off, I'll show you in a second. Um, backlit frozy, frozen birches might be uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, show you, uh, I'll show you the composition and talk you a bit through that. Uh, but otherwise, not too complicated. Uh, I am focus stacking just in case, but it might not be necessary. And uh, yeah, just an awesome morning to be out. So I've got this birch here, uh, sort of on the right hand side of the composition, and then these two birches here, and I'm cutting the frame off about there. And um, yeah, got a bit of fog hanging about and that's helping quite a lot, but otherwise it's, it's pretty simple really. Um, you can just see if I, Spin you around there. All this light is going to soon be flooding the valley, so it was good to get a shot of this while there was no light. Um, and then now I'll get a variation with the light and see how that changes things. Otherwise, probably going to uh, run up the hill shortly and see if there's a wider view down the glen because it's looking, uh, yeah, really rather nice. Spent a bit of time just here on this hill behind me trying to uh, get some different angles on these various trees and wow what a morning it's been uh, incredible conditions and yeah some of that fog has lingered so it's been really useful just to separate out some of the background um, gonna head back to the van now go and get another coffee I think and some ibuprofen my knee is really painful um, bit of bursitis acting up, which is uh, quite unfortunate, but lucky that it's right at the end of my trip. 
But yes, gonna head back now and see what else I can find in a different part of the glen. Well, sorry about the lack of video there at the end. Just one of those days where photography really has to come first. And uh, oh, what a day it's been. As you can see, the uh, frost has lasted all the way through the entire day. So just been out photographing the whole time. Um, got some of that beautiful backlit birch trees, as you would have seen. And yeah, I think some of the images in this video are gonna be really special and certainly uh, one of my favorite, one of my best days of photography, uh, maybe ever. So a really, really special day out here in the <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna see it like this for a very long time. Um, wow, special, special, special day. Just uh, super thankful to have been out here. So I'll uh, end it there, hope you've enjoyed. Remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like it, and uh, of course, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.